It's Friday morning and it's time to start getting ready for Shabbos. So what better to prepare than good old-fashioned chicken soup? Now I know some of you go out and buy your chicken soup at the store for Shabbos, but if you're one of these people, please try this recipe. It takes 10 minutes to put together and it is a million times better than anything you'll get in the store. Check it out. And this is all you're going to need to get it started. Here we have our vegetables, our aromatics. I have a couple of small onions, or you could use one big one. I have a few garlic cloves, two stalks of celery, a big carrot, some fresh herbs. I have parsley here and dill. You could substitute with thyme or rosemary or some other herbs, but don't substitute the dill. That is a classic flavor in chicken soup. I have some fresh salt and pepper. I have some kosher free-range chicken broth. Go for low sodium so you can control the saltiness of your soup. Some extra virgin olive oil and the pièce de résistance, the chicken. Here we have one cut up into eighths. Um, so you could have some chicken pieces in there. You could also use the chicken, just chicken bones. And of course, a big stock pot, a nice heavy bottom stock pot, and a tzedakah box. So let's start by chopping up our veggies. Now you could leave your veggies whole and they'll just flavor the soup or my kids tend to like having pieces of carrot and celery in there and it's a good way to get the kids to eat some veggies so chop them up nice and small into dice and uh, you'll get a great result as well. Cut them in half and half again. Then you could take all of these and just line them up just chop them straight through. Always important, curl your fingers under so you don't hurt yourself. Next up we'll do our celery. Right down the middle. And again, okay, you just line all these up. Should be able to chop them through and get perfect dice as well. But this is going to cook for a long time, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Using two onions here, just chop them down. Again, doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get it in there. Carrot, celery, and onion, perfectly chopped. Dice up our garlic a little bit. Again, not too small. You don't want it to burn. Keep that on the side there. And last up is our fresh herbs. Let's start with the parsley. Don't go too crazy with this, just chop it through once. Make it nice and fine. And that's it. Get a little stem in there, it's no problem at all. Chop up the leaves. And last but not least, the dill. Gives great flavor. Once again, just line them up. Get a little stems in there, no big deal. Just chop it through once. You could go nice and fine, just chop it up good. Okay, spend about two minutes chopping veggies and we are ready to cook, let's go. Let's turn our fire on to medium. Pull up our stock pot straight on the fire. Let it get a little bit hot. After about a minute, let's get in some extra virgin olive oil. Good luck. Swirl that around a little bit. And in with the onion. That sizzle is a good sign. We're going to be using a wooden spoon for this the best utensil for sautéing around the mirepoix. That's the name of the uh, three Holy Trinity herbs, uh, vegetables I should say. Um, onion, carrot, and celery. Let's start off every stock and every soup, or most I should say. So we got our onions in there. In this case, you don't really want to brown the onions as you would in certain other situations. You just really want to get some color. Just get them translucent, get the flavor out, start smelling it. Your kitchen should start smelling good around now. And just keep it stirring around the bottom of that pot. Okay, you can see our onions are cooking. Cut into a little bit of a closer shot there so you can see what it looks like. You do not want to go till they're brown. Just let them cook a little bit. Sweat them out. See they'll release some natural juices, natural flavor. Next you can go in with the carrot. Move it around a little bit with the onion. We're just establishing a flavor base for our soup right now. And these fresh vegetables are really going to provide an amazing flavor. When you're shopping for vegetables, you always want to try and find the freshest, crispiest, brightest colors. Really look for good stuff. That's what makes the best food. 
At this point we'll add a little salt and pepper. Not too much because we'll check for, check for saltiness later once we add our stock. But fresh ground pepper is a really good flavor in chicken soup. Keep it going. Keep the old tap. And once the carrots have cooked with the onion for a minute or two, we can go in with the celery. Looking and smelling great. Mix it around. Now we got some great color going on here. And color means flavor. A little more pepper. Now normally I would put the garlic in first with the onion. But you want to be super careful that the garlic doesn't burn in this case because that will impart a bitter taste to your whole soup. So you don't want to do that. Just put the garlic in here once the vegetables have cooked for about four or five minutes. Then we'll put the garlic in just to impart some flavor, but not to burn. Let's add our garlic. Perfect. Once again, you can see not too finely chopped on the garlic. Just want to want to taste it. Stir it around. And our onions are starting to look really translucent now. The vegetables have released some of their liquids. I think it's time to add the main ingredient, which is water, but no. The real main ingredient, which is chicken, because this is chicken soup. So let's get it in there. And what you'll basically do is just take your pieces with your hand, or with your tongs if you're squeamish, and just place them right on top of everything else. Mm. No need to season the chicken. Once you get it in the pot, you'll season it a little bit. And the stock will also impart quite a bit of seasoning. So just get it in there. We're not going to brown the chicken in this case. It's going to be cooking for a long time. So we're just going to get the chicken in the pot. Try and nestle it down on the vegetables. There you go. Always remember to wash your hands after you touch raw chicken. Okay, we could put a little salt and pepper down on the chicken itself, just to make sure that that is seasoned as well. Again, keep it very subtle, because you could always adjust later. But you do want salt and pepper on that chicken. And then once that's done, we're going to add in the entire container of free-range chicken broth. Low sodium, kosher, delicious. It's going to give great flavor. It's going to perfume the vegetables and just add a lot of liquid to our pot to start creating this soup. Now for me that's not enough because I want to make enough not only for Shabbos but I want to also have leftovers and freeze it for several weeks. So I'm going to get another one. And here we have another one. I'm just going to pop it in. So I'm using two whole containers here of chicken broth, 32 fluid ounces each, one quart. So I guess that's half a gallon of broth. Now even that's not enough for me, so I am probably going to add some water as well. Great thing about this sink is you can take this little telescoping handle here on the faucet and just turn on the water. Always add cold water, and then you'll bring it up to temperature while it's in the pot. And I'm going to bring it up to right about where those rivets are for the handle. I'm going to cover those rivets, cover the chicken completely, and then we will bring it up to a boil. Definitely raise the heat to high. That took us about 10 minutes to put everything in, and now it's going to cook for a good, I don't know, it's about 12 o'clock noon. Let it cook for about 4 or 5 hours, and when Shabbos comes, we're going to have perfect chicken soup. See you in a few hours. One thing I forgot to say is once the soup comes up to a boil like this, you want to lower it down to a simmer. Go down to your lowest fire and then just turn it up a little bit from there so that you just get little tiny bubbles on top. That's the way you're going to leave it for the next few hours. You'll also see that there's some fat on the top there that if you want at this point you could skim that fat off if you're going for a low fat soup, but I'm not going to do that because I like schmaltz. We're about an hour in now. The soup's been bubbling away like this very slowly for an hour. Smelling delicious. The house smells great. 
and um, I just realized that it would probably be smart to pull the chicken out uh, just so that it doesn't get overcooked and we'll put the bones back in so I'll show you how to do that now. Okay so I just got a nice clean glass bowl here with our kitchen tongs. You could use something else to fetch the chicken out but just get the pieces out and put them in a clean bowl like this. Then I'll show you how to get the meat off. I just took two forks. Basically all you're going to do is take a piece of chicken. I have the drumstick here. Put it on your plate. You can use your two forks. Just pull the skin off. You don't want to include that in your chicken soup. And then just take your two forks and use it to just pull off pieces. Just like this. And we're going to use this plate to reserve them. I'll show you when it's all done. And here's what you're left with. You can see in the middle here we have a plate of shredded chicken, really good stuff. On the left we have our bowl now just filled up with the bones that we're going to return to the soup. And on the right you could see the skin that we pulled off. We're just going to discard that at this point. It's done its job, gave a lot of flavor to the soup, and we're going to just trash that. Now let's take our bones and put them back in to continue to flavor the soup as it cooks for the next few hours. Get it in there. It's been about three, three and a half hours now. We've been bubbling away. It's looking and smelling amazing. The next step is to add in our fresh cut herbs because we're about a half hour away. Shabbos is coming in soon and we're just going to let these cook in the soup a little bit. So here goes our dill and there goes our fresh parsley. Give it a little stir. That looks amazing, smells amazing. And just leave it uncovered, leave it on that simmer, let it keep going for another half hour or so, and this soup is gonna be done. So our fresh herbs have cooked in the soup for about 10-15 minutes now. Give it one last stir and our soup is ready to go. We have just a few last steps to do before it is ready to serve. The first one is we're gonna taste it for seasoning. So let's take a spoon here and just very nice flavor could definitely use a little more salt and definitely some more cracked pepper so let's put in a good amount of pepper here and at this point now that the stock has cooked in there for a while we know exactly how salty it is so we can add a good scoop of salt as well. Now we're getting really close to Shabbos. You could hear the kids playing in the background. Everyone took their baths. Our chicken soup is almost done. Let's give it one more taste here. That's good, perfect. Really nice. Don't want to get it too salty. Just get it just right. Okay, so we're good. Our seasoning is good. The next step is we're going to go in there with our tongs and we're actually going to pick out the bones because <coughs> at this point we've gotten all the flavor that we need out of them and we really have no need for them anymore. So we're just going to take our bowl here and we're just going to go fishing. Anything you find here that's a bone you hear the kids playing ball upstairs. Any bones you find here, just, just grab them. Pull them out. If they have a little bit of meat on it, it's not really a big deal at this point. We have so much chicken that we reserved already. So it's okay if you waste a little piece of chicken. But some of those pieces of chicken that were on the bones now have fallen off and have become a part of our soup. But the bone marrow, the bones themselves have really disintegrated. And you could see they've imparted a whole lot of their flavors into the soup. You see, there's really dry bones inside. You just don't want someone to bite down on that and break a tooth or something like that. So we're just going to discard this now. The last step, we're going to bring back our shredded chicken. It was covered. It was in the fridge. We're just going to take the plastic wrap off, and we're just going to slide it back into our soup. Ooh, hot. Take your wooden spoon, give it one last stir, and just let this chicken heat through for about five minutes and this soup is ready to serve. We have a beautiful finished pot of homemade chicken soup, 
delicious, a million times better than anything you'll buy in the store. Trust me, try this out, you will love it. And so easy to prepare as you've seen here. It's going to be Shabbos in just about five minutes here and it feels great to know that I'm going to be feeding my children food that is healthy, food that is natural. I know exactly what went into it, just a few vegetables, some chicken, some water, some salt and pepper. Just amazing fresh ingredients and the flavor will blow away anything that you buy in the store. I guarantee it. You've got to try this. You really do. Um, I have some Tupperware containers here, some Fleischig ones, the red that we use. I'll show you how much this one pot of chicken soup yields as far as freezing it and reheating it for other nights of the week. It's really an amazing, versatile thing. I hope you have a great Shabbos. Um, we'll show you the end of this video when we reheat some chicken soup later this week. Good Shabbos. We really enjoyed our chicken soup this Shabbos, and I put the rest of the soup in our Tupperware containers. As you can see, we yielded eight containers of soup for eight other meals, which is great for the amount of time we spent cooking, and they're so easy to reheat. You see how much I put in each one. I've actually done this before, so I know that it's a perfect amount for a weeknight, and just so easy to reheat. I'll show you how to do that. So just grab one out of the freezer. No need to even defrost it, just run it under some hot water until it pops out. Just wait for the sound. There we go. Pop it into a saucepan and put it under medium heat till it's heated through. And we're ready to serve. So even though it's a regular weeknight now, we're going to do the Shabbos style. Have a nice glass of wine. Baruch Atah Adonai Oheinu Melech Olam Berei Pri Hagafen. Great. And we're going to put some soup nuts in our chicken soup. I like a lot. Let's give it a try. Baruch Atah Adonai Oheinu Melech Olam Berei Minei Mizanot. Nice little crunch. And for our soup. Baruch Atah Adonai Elohim El Chalam Shakol Nyevet Vara. Amazing. In about five minutes now, on a weeknight, I'm able to have a meal that took hours to to, uh, to cook, just minutes to prepare, and it's delicious. It's nutritious. It's it's great. Great way to warm up on a cold winter night. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Cooking Kosher. I really enjoyed making this one. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please comment, like, and subscribe to let me know what you'd like me to cook next. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.